Okay, we are live. We are live, Pile. Right. Hi, good afternoon, ladies. Hope everyone is enjoying the sunshine. Well, today's uh, yoga is going to get uh, be conducted by uh, multi-talented Mrs. Kamu Palan. She is not only a profession, like accountant by profession, but she's also a director of our very, very famous Golden Tours buses, which run in London. And uh, she's very well versed in yoga teaching. I would say I have seen her profile and she has uh, 15 years of practice, 10 years of teaching. And she not only teaches asanas, but, you know, uh, she teaches posture, uh, uh, yoga mudras and pressure points. So pressure points is uh, something similar to acupressure and it really helps our internal organs. And it is uh, really needed for all of us to heal our body internally. And yeah, so, and she, do, she does conduct yoga on Zoom Monday to Friday. So we can, after the session, anytime we can contact her uh, and uh, book her sessions if we are really, uh, uh, want to inculcate yoga in our daily life and uh, saying that I will I'm also looking forward to uh, have a yoga session with Mrs. Kamu uh, even I am a yoga instructor and a yoga coach uh, qualified in uh, Svasa Bangalore and yes I have been teaching yoga since last 10 years along with my job in finance so Let's get back. I, I will forward the uh, hand over the session to Mrs. Kamu. And I wish all of us can get best out of this session. See you. Thank you, Payalji. Thank you so much for the introduction. Yes, welcome everybody. If you're watching online, you're watching on YouTube, wherever you are globally, I namaste to you all. And I hope you enjoy my session like uh, Payal said that I don't only do the asanas, I know usually with the International Yoga Day, everybody wants to do the beautiful asanas and what have you. But today I want to do something different so that you all can see that there is more to yoga asanas, postures, all these beautiful postures people can do and some people are not able to do it because of their health issues, before of the body issues. Maybe they can't do it because of the operation, surgeries, this and that. So very simplified mudras and a few pressure points if we have time enough we will conduct that for the moment welcome everybody to my sessions okay the first mudra that i want to show you is the mukula mudra mukula mudra is the mudra done with all your fingertips and the thumb touching palms facing the sky and you just breathe in breathe out now, this particular mudra, actually, what it does is it not only helps you with the removal of the toxins in the body, but it also acts like a painkiller. So whenever you have a pain in your body, anywhere in the body, for example, you have a headache or a migraine, you have shoulder aches and pains, knees aches and pains, heart aches, uh, pains and aches somewhere in the chest or wherever in the body, all you have to do is mukula mudra like this, all the fingertips touching, and then you touch it wherever the pain is, and you normally breathe in, breathe out. This is an instant pain reliever. It's called the mukula mudra, and it can be done about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what acute pains and aches you have and whereabouts in the body. And as soon as you do the aches, the Mukula Mudra, wherever the pains are, it will stop the pain, then you stop the Mudra. And then again, if you want to continue, you can continue. You can do it in another area on your legs, on your knees, wherever the pain is, okay? Even the stomach. So Mukula Mudra, 10 to 15 minutes if you do it, if you've got aches and pains. The second part of Mukula Mudra is helpful is removing of the toxins. And also, not just the removal of the toxins, but to collect the toxins in the body. If you want to stop that, then what you do is you do Mukula Mudra five minutes before your meals. Whether it is breakfast, lunch or dinner, you just do Mukula Mudra five minutes, just breathe in, breathe out normally. And then you will see toxins are not collected in your body at all. They will start getting dissolving. 
that will dissolve instantly in your body. Whatever foods you're eating, it does not matter. So this is the benefit of this mudra called the Mukula Mudra. I hope you enjoy this mudra. And the second one that I want you to know about is the cough. Some people really cough so much, uh, especially during weather changes or in winter times in England or other countries, wherever you are, even in the dry season, people do have a lot of coughing and they keep on going to their medic cupboards or going running to the national health service or the chemist or the doctors, this and that. And you start doing the remedies at home. You know, some people have their own remedies to do that. Instead of, do, instead of doing all that, what you could do is, here we go, make a fist. The thumb is inside your palms and you touch it to the base of your little finger and you close all the fingers together. This is called a cough mudra and the fist is facing the ground. So you are going to be sitting and then what all you have to do is you put your fingers, your fist facing downwards. And you just breathe in, breathe out. You don't necessarily have to be on a yoga mat or on a yoga session on this and that. It can be done at any time during the day. The minute you start coughing, all you have to do is you just do this straight away and instant relief on your coughing. Even if you have an acute coughing going on for days and months or even years, some of them, you can still continue doing that. Every mudra that you want to do, it can be done 10 to 15 minutes, but there are some mudras that you have to do it a bit longer if you've got an acute issues in your body, acute elements what we call. So cough mudra, thumb is going inside, touching the base of your little finger, close, and you just breathe in, breathe out. Cough mudra can also be done while you're sleeping and you're coughing. A lot of people think that, oh, let me drink water. And then they think, oh, if I drink water, I need to go to the washroom. So there is an issue like that. Not to worry at all. All you do is when you are sleeping in the afternoon, having a nap or at night and the coughing is starting, all you do is you just do your mudra and face it downwards, whether on your mattress, on your legs, on your thighs, wherever you can, I tell you this works like an amazing remedy for cough mudras, for coughing. Whether it is a chesty cough, mucus cough, mucus stuck in your, in your chest area, in your throat, sometimes it is in your intestines. So all this will help you if you do this mudra for 10 minutes, three times a day, it will help a great deal. This is called the cough mudra. So here we go. You can practice this at any time you like. And then what you can do is you can continue doing this again anytime during the day before after meals. It does not matter. Okay. So let's see if you can do the cough mudra and continue. Yes. And now I'm going to show you something which is going to be helpful for people who have got lots of... Uh, lots of uh, problems in going for urination. Now, a lot of people go for urination and they need to wake up at night, middle of the night. Sometimes during the day, they go so many times into the washroom for urination. Now, urination, it could not necessarily be an infection, but some people just have that issue because the liver, kidneys, internal organs are not that strong enough. So I'm going to show you one, another Kriya. It's called a Kriya or a Mudra, whatever you like to call it, but I like to call it a Kriya. So that Kriya can be done anytime. There is no particular issue before meals, after meals, after two hours, after one hour, all this and that, none of that. You can even do it before you go to sleep. In fact, it will make you go to sleep even better. So for Mudra, for the urination, if you're going too often to the washroom, all you have to do is little two fingers. In our olden days, when the students wanted to go for a wee, what they used to do was the, ring, the little finger going up. That means the teacher would know they need to go to the washroom. So all you have to do is both hands. You make a fist of the other fingers and you take out the little fingers, little fingers, 
you interlock and then you face it towards your chest. Elbows are nice and straight. They're not going down like this or touching here and there, none of that. So this is the position you want to be and you push and pull, push and pull. Here we go. Uh -huh. This is for people who are going for urination too often at night, especially mature people. I don't like to say old people or senior citizens, but mature I like to say because they have really been matured in their life, in their experiences. So that's what you do, interlock the little fingers and you push and pull, push and pull, making sure the other fingers are all closed. And if you want another benefit for this particular Kriya, what you need to do is make sure your thumb is touching the ring finger. Why the ring finger? The ring finger because there is a nadi, a nerve that is connected to your heart. And your heart will also get better. The muscles of your heart get stronger, energized, and it will work better for your breathing exercises as well. So little fingers interlocking and the thumb is touching the ring finger, the knuckle of the ring finger, and then you push and pull, push and pull gently, making sure you are not resting the knuckles or the hand on your chest, but it should just be feather touching or just about half an inch away from the chest area. So this is what you do just to show you. You can do this at any time while you are watching your box or you are just talking on the phone, instead of holding the phone on your hands, you can leave the phone on the lap speaker and do all these different mudras that you want to learn if you have an ailment. Even if you don't have an ailment, you can still continue doing this and you will find that it really helps a great deal for this mudra, for the urination. Try it, a lot of my yogis have done it, a lot of my students have done it and they'll all come back to me and saying that Kamu, this is the best ever mudra. Now we can go to sleep right throughout the night instead of getting up every an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever. Even during the daytime, some people have that issue. You can still do this, no problem at all. So I hope you have enjoyed this three mudras. And the next one I want to show is a lot of people suffer from blood pressure. Now, blood pressure is something that when you go to the doctors, they give you all sorts of in, uh, medications. And these medications, sometimes they say, you have to take it for life. And do you really want to do that? Why do you want to go into this medication stuff for the life? And sometimes you forget the tablets, then you get a bit nervous, this and that and what have you. You have your body 24 seven with you. You don't have to take any props with you. You don't have to take this, that, and this instead of collecting in a bag, all this medication that you're taking, none of that. You have your body 24 seven with you, try to use it. That's what the nature has made us, to use our own body, to use our own breath, to use our own intellectual. And then you will see the difference. So for the blood pressure, you can use a pressure point stick, which is one of these, or you can use your hand, index finger, make sure there is not long nails or anything like that. Otherwise, when you press it, the nail will dig in and it won't work. So you've got to make sure absolutely nail, no nails, no long nails at all. Use the pressure point stick, the small side of the pressure point stick, where your nose ends here. And you just press it here, press it for about five minutes, three times a day. And you continue pressing this, don't keep on rubbing or anything like that, just a pressure here. If you are suffering from the blood pressure, then you press it just tiny bit, a little bit more so that your blood pressure will come to normal. And even if you don't have, whether you have high or low blood pressure, it does not matter. Again, before, after meals, no problems at all. You can do it anytime, three to five times a day. So very gently, only five minutes, no more. Here we go. We press it gently. I'll come to the near camera so you can see exactly where the nose is ending. That's where you put the pressure point stick. You press it and you breathe normally in and out. You could be watching your box and you should be doing all this stuff, mudras. Mm -hmm. Or even when you're driving, people say, oh, we have no time, Camille, you know, too busy working, this, that, da, da, da. You are stuck in the traffic. 
Do your more travels in the car. Your partner is driving, you're sitting on the car as a passenger. Why don't you continue doing? Continue doing mudras or kriyas if you're able to breathing in, breathing out. It will help you greatly, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to do different types of mudra. Every disease, every element has a mudra you can do or a pressure point you can do. It will help you a great deal. You don't have to keep on going to the doctors and wasting NHS money, NHS time, the doctor's time. Leave it for the people who really genuinely need it. You guys are young. You can work on it. Even sitting on a chair, sitting on a bed, sleeping, you can do all sorts of mudras and pressure points. So try to start working on your body. It works from within. All this medication, guys, you know what it does. It gives you another element. You take some medication for something, you, you're constipated. So you need to take another medication. You take that, oh God, you got ulcers, so you got burning sensations. So they'll give you something else to work on that. Why do you want to take all these medications unnecessarily and destroy your body? It's a, all these medications sometimes are not very good. And you know what? A lot of pharmaceuticals or people who make medications, they are doing this so that they can make money. It's a money-making machine. So your body and yourself, you can heal yourself with any ailments you have. I'm not saying you to stop the medication. This will also help the yoga. And it does not mean that you do yoga only once a week, twice a week. Try to do it daily, even for 15 minutes. And people say, oh, you know what? I'm not flexible enough. I can't do it. You know, these all these beautiful asanas that people are able to do. It. I'm too embarrassed to do them. You don't have to do. Yoga is not all about asanas. It is also with the pressure points and all these mudras that you can learn, every disease has a solution. The third one, or another one mudra that I would like to show you is for the back pain, which is so common in life, everywhere in the world, everyone has got a back issue. And you know what they say? They say you are as young as your spine is flexible. Now, people say, oh, I'm walking and I'm doing these exercises. I'm swimming once a week, twice a week, and I'm walking also every day. But that does not make you flexible. You need to use your muscles. You need to use your body sometimes a little bit. Like simple exercises, just scratching yourself down gently. If you can't touch it, no problem. Gradually, you will be able to touch all the way down with the flat hands, palms on the ground. Slowly, slowly, your spine will be flexible. But the most common issue with most of the people is the back, the lower back or the whole of your back. Now, when you've got these back pains, simple, simple kriya you have to do is you clap the back of your palms like this. You can do it about 100 times and you will see the results. When you get tired with the right hand on the top, you switch right hand at the bottom, left on the top. So all this is very, very good for you guys. This is for your back pain, whether it is upper back, lower back or whatever. Even if you have an acute back pain, this will help you a great deal. Okay, and the last one before my time comes up, not last one, but if I can do a wee bit more, is I wanted to show you the liver. Now, liver, although has its own issues, a lot of people have cirrhosis and this and that and whatever you drink and then, then you've got liver issues. To maintain your liver like you maintain your color, you put it on services every year, you do an MOT every year, so you need to do that for your internal organs by doing different types of yoga or whatever your issues are, no problem at all. I know in a Western world, they all are interested into doing the yoga asanas. But guys, like I keep on repeating, there's more to asanas in yoga than just asanas. So here we go. I mean, the postures. When I say asanas, it's the postures. And the other thing I wanted to show you was the liver. 
Now, how do you maintain your liver? People say, don't eat this, don't drink this, da 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 da, da. Forget about all that. All you have to do is, with your right hand, the right side of your body is the liver. Just under your breast area, you just rub it in and out like this, here. Just that. Right hand can be doing anything. You can be watching your box on the phone, but you keep on doing this. You know, people say that when you do yoga, you need to be quiet area, quiet place, this, that. Uh -uh. No, it's necessary. It's just all in your mind. You control your mind. Don't let your mind control you. Okay? So this is the position that you just rub it, rub in and out, in and out like this on the right side of your body where the liver is. And then you rub this, the liver is automatically maintained. Does not matter what issues you have. And it will help you a great deal. If you are tired rubbing with your right hand, you do it about 100 times if you have an issue. If you have no issue, a few times as long as you want it. There is no particular that five times, 10 times, 18 times, 36 times or anything like that. You can rub as long as you want, but don't overdo anything. Just about enough. 36 is the max. You can rub like this. And then if you're tired with one hand, you use the other hand. But only on the right side, you are just going to go right here for the liver. Okay. So that's for your liver. I'm just mostly doing it, the normal issues that people have most of the times. Okay. And now, just the last one that I wanted to show you was the Nadi Sudan breathing. Nadi Sudan breathing is something that will help you a great deal with your breathing process. There are so many different types of breathing. People keep on saying what we call is pranayam. Now, the one most important one is the Nadi Sudan. Nadi Sudan can be done for your Ida, Pingala, and the Shushubna Nadi. Do you know your Ida, which is on the left side of your body? There is an Ida Nadi, which has got 36,000 Nadis inside. And that 36,000 is connected in your navel. Pingola has also got the 36,000 Nadis, and it is connected in your navel. So all together, it makes 72,000 nadis connecting in your navel. And guess what? These 72,000 nadis does not need any labels. What this nadi is for, what that nadi is for. Isn't that a beautiful nature? So these 72,000 nadis are connected in your navel. It gives a life to a little one. When a woman is pregnant, that's everything starting from your navel. And why 72,000 nadis? It goes into the baby afterwards. All your eating, everything goes in there and it is nourishing all of your organs in the bodies. Your muscles, your bones, your nadis, your nervous system, this, that, whatever is necessary in your body. So that's what's happening. Okay? So Ida, 36,000 nadis, left side of your body, which is the cool side of the body. Pingola, which is on the right side of the body, 36,000 nadis, it's called the Surya nadi. Surya nadi is the hot side. Ida is the cool side. It's called the Chandra nadi. So Chandra nadi, Surya nadi. And in the center is called the Shishumna nadi. Now this Shishumna nadi is actually, Shishumna nadi is actually, what it does is it helps with your chakras. So it controls all these chakras energies. So let's do the Nadi Sudan. The first two fingers of your right hand goes in the middle of your eyebrows. Left hand is in Tignan Mudra. You put it on your, you can sit. It is better sitting down. And then you put the first two fingers between your eyebrows, close the right nostril, and then you only breathe out through the left. Like Kapal Bhati, you can do as long as you want. Once you get tired, you stop. And then you feel the breathing. See what's happening to the left nostril. It will clear all the blockages of all those few nadis. It might not unblock everything, but with time, it will do so. And then this is called the, here we go. Only left side breathing out while the right nostril is closed. And then 
Once you are done with the left, then you do the right. With the ring finger, you close your left nostril and you breathe out through the right. Like you do your Kapalbhati. And then this is your Ida and Pingola cleaned out. If you do it on a regular basis, your breathing will change, asthma problems will change, hay fever will change, everything will go beautiful. And then when you want to do the Shishumna Nadi, all you have to do is both fingers here, one close the right, breathe out through the left, close the left, breathe out through the right. This is what you do. It will help you to also work on the Shushumna Nadi. So this is the Nadi Sudha. There is so many more that I could go on and on. But guys, like I said, you can always join my classes that are going on Monday to Friday, seven o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the evening. Sorry, eight o'clock in the morning, seven to eight. And then you can go back to work and it's all on Zoom. So let me know if you want to. My telephone number is 07956377852. This is a London number. You can do plus four, four and the number. So I really hope you enjoyed my session and thank you for the rush for Rashmiji. Thank you so much for having me in your group and letting me conduct the session today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you Kamuji. It's, uh, it's a privilege to have such an expert as you. And it's uh, not uh, our group. It's your group. Yeah, we are all together and you all have made it happen. Payal, over to yes. you. Thank you very much for giving 30 minutes out of your precious time and your knowledge is vast. And we oh. really have lots of things to learn from you. And uh, we are really looking forward, like uh, if anybody interested or we can make some uh, plans to have at least once, we can work on one mudra at a time at a, in a week. And yeah, we can learn if you can kindly give us some detail on single mudra in one week so we can go from there yes and very yes, much yes. It's incredible to know you and your knowledge thank you oh. very much thank you thank you so much thank you globally everybody whoever is listening or watching and thank you so much Payal and Rashmiji thank you yeah so this bye is bye. uh this is inspiring Indian women bringing you loads and loads of yoga experts from all over UK and today we had uh, Ms. Kamu Palan from Kamu's Yoga. It's very popular, I believe. And uh, she has lots of knowledge, uh, not only about uh, just the yogas and the asanas, but a lot of uh, uh, wellness tips, you know, there you gave. Like, I especially liked, you know, when you said that uh, blood pressure, how to put the, <laughs> that uh, near the tip of your nose, you know, if you nudge it and uh, for uh, some minutes, few minutes, and it uh, your blood pressure comes slow that that is something fantastic i will definitely try because i've got i know a lot of people having high blood pressure and taking yes. pills so i wish i knew it earlier mm -hmm. so that i could have passed it and passed it anytime time. you can ask me and i'll let you know <laughs> yeah a lot of things you know uh, amazing session thank you so much Payal, and thank you kamu palan this is inspiring indian women in the countdown to mm -hmm. international yoga day and uh, don't forget uh, high commission of india is organizing international yoga day at falga square on the 20th early morning by 8 30 a.m so do join it join them there and um, oh, before you leave for office uh Payal, do you like to say something about yourself what you do right so uh i am also like i'm working in finance but i have been uh, teaching yoga mm -hmm. since 2012 i have uh, learned yoga especially uh in like just to just I just learned yoga for myself first, uh, but I went for teacher training course and I went to uh, Esvasa Bangalore. I learned and from there, when I learned yoga, my life was transformed. And then when I came back in Mumbai, I had my yoga studio for two years. Then I migrated to London and I have been teaching in uh, uh, gyms, uh, some yoga classes, and I have my own yoga studio in Hounslow. Oh. High Street, which was closed down due to COVID, but uh, last month I have started it again. Oh. And now, God's grace, I'm going to continue with it. <laughs> 
Thank you yeah. so much, Payal. So Thank everyone, you. don't forget to tune in again tomorrow at 2 p.m. or maybe I think 2 .30, by between 2 and 2.30 p.m. with another guest tomorrow. And uh, we would look forward to seeing you again. And Payal Thakur is the host again. Thanks a lot, Thank everyone. You. See you Take tomorrow. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Kamuji. Bye. Bye, Bye Rashmi ji. Payal ji.